in the previous videos we have seen how to use the time account unit as time so use timer 0 and 1 as well in this video we will see uh, how to use timer 0 to uh, work as a counter or to make it work as a counter so uh, this is pretty simple so uh, the first thing uh, that we need to do is we need to configure the TCCR resistor so you have seen this resistor before in this case for uh, timer 0 it would be TCCR0 so we need to configure this as a counter first and then uh, we need to simply monitor the TC and T0 uh, resistor which keeps the count so every time the count is incremented it is in the TC and T0 resistor now where can this be used so and where does do we get the input for this so let's just go ahead and look at the resistors that we have seen earlier as well so what you could see here is if the clock source if these three pins for the TCCR zero resistors if these are 6 and 7 if the the options are 6 and 7 okay so if the options are 6 and 7 then we use the the unit as a as a counter so it says that it's on pin T0 so uh, this T0 falling edge and T0 rising edge so what it means is the T0 in fact is the port B0 so if you look look here it's the port B0 and uh, if it is option number six it detects uh, you know the input on the falling edge and if it is seven it detects on the rising edge now what do you mean by that like say we have an input here like this okay so if it is in option number six so it detects on the falling edge now the falling edge is when the signal goes from high to low so this is the falling edge and when the signal goes from low to high then this is the rising edge now in this example what we'll do is we'll connect a small uh, sensor uh, like we have an infrared sensor so what it does is it has two small sensors on board so this uh, this transmits the infrared rays and, and there is one more I'll show you those and I'll do the demonstration so one transmits and the other receives and they transmit IR rays so whenever they find an obstacle uh, you know it, the IR reflects back from the obstacle and comes back to the receiver now this unit so this is a small little sensor breakout board which we have and so we'll use this to demonstrate now it gives us a 5 volt signal okay whenever we have an obstacle here and whenever there is no obstacle it becomes zero so it's as good as this signal so whenever we find an obstacle it goes up and comes down so like this so uh, with this what we could do is we will wave our hand here in front of the sensor and we'll feed the signal to port B0 and make the timer counter unit work as a counter and we'll see how many times do we wave your hand on this so now this particular input it could be anything it could be an IR sensor a ultrasonic sensor a bump switch or anything else that you want now so we'll, let's go ahead and configure the uh, time account counter unit as counter and see how it works so as we have seen before there are two basic steps the first is uh, set the value for TCCR0 which we have now seen as uh, TCCR0 equals 0x06 let us do that on the falling edge and um, and we just need to monitor the TCC and T uh, zero um, resistor and we just need to uh, dump whatever value we get onto the LCD so we'll be using the LCD in this as well all right so let's just go ahead and write the code for this okay so I have already included the LCD dot H and the dot C file so that we can use the LCD now let us go ahead and write the code real quick it's pretty simple uh, so we include the LCD first. Yeah, 
so cd dot h right now what do we need to configure we need to initialize the lcd so lcd init goes here all right so now we need to configure the time account to unit as a counter and to do that it's pretty simple tccr0 equals 0x06 now i just remember this so uh, the function we are using right now it's called the alternate pin function so i'll show you what i mean by that so uh, if you go here to this page okay now if you look at the pin diagram here the port b0 to port b7 this is the main function of these pins like this is the primary function as an input output digital input output so what you see in the bracket is the alternate pin function and in this case we'll be using the t0 as uh, you know uh, time account unit so we need not set the direction for this we need not set tell uh, whether this is input or output since we're using a specific alternate function uh, the controller knows that this is input in this case so we need not configure it all right so we simply need to configure uh, the unit as a counter and then uh, once we do that it it keeps waiting for the input so uh, so ne next what we do is we simply go ahead and dump the uh, values on the lcd and this would be on line one uh, position five so there are two lines zero and one and uh, let me just go ahead and do that on line before we go ahead and we can display some message on line zero so can say object counter okay all right object counter uh, now we go ahead and uh, display the numbers from the tc and t0 resistor so this is what we're using as a counter right now all right so and this is it i guess so there's nothing much uh, to do in this program okay let me just see once so we initialize the lcd we display something on line one uh, we turn on the counter then we go to uh, line one uh, position five and keep displaying the values that we get from the counter all right so i'll build this and okay so there's something else missing okay what it says passing argument one okay 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 this should be lcd display string not number okay so uh, so display string okay let me build it again let's see yeah this is fine yeah pretty simple program i'll go ahead and go ahead and flash the code okay the board is not connected this is simpler than the led blinking program that we did okay so the word is connected the code is transferred now i'll take you to the demo and I'll show how it works all right so uh, here is the sensor board that i was speaking about so uh, the white one that you see here it's the transmitter and the black one is the receiver so whenever we have an object in front of it uh, you know it has three pins so it's ground vcc and output so this is five volts in ground and then the output pin gives one whenever there is an object in front of this so and these are connected to the board and as we have seen so the output should be connected to port b0 so that is what you see here and the counter is displaying all zeros right there and when i, I take my hand towards the sensor you see that the light is on and when i release it the counter increments by one so that is because it's zero all the time okay and when i take the hand towards it it becomes one and when i leave it that's when we get a falling edge high to low so that's that's when the counter increments now i'll do it real fast just observe the uh, display there so it's incrementing so i'll take something else here
Okay, so since this is timer zero, it will go from zero to uh, 255 and then it overflows and starts with zero again. Now, in, in place of the IR sensor, you could use anything else. You could use an ultrasonic sensor or uh, any other sensor for that matter. Uh, so, uh, this is basic, you know, uh, stuff to display how a counter works or how you could use timer zero as a counter. Okay, now <laughs> it overflows. Yes. So, this is how it works. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe.